quite a sort of manly looking figure. But if you come to the very first churches, um, it would have been um, a man that looked like a woman at that time. Anyway, have a look around. There's the font. It's quite an impressive font. And if you look at some of the grey stones, you see the optional skulls on them. Even the bones. So nowadays we don't we don't like to have images of the dead. If you come into church just a month ago, there'd be lots of images of skeletons. Because most people couldn't read and they use pictures to try to tell stories to make you all scared. If you do bad things, you will tell and this is what happens to you. So they, but nowadays we used to usually just have them like all Anyway, good good. Also over here. You can see there's a wreath, and I don't know if you do the same thing in Italy we do, but on November the 11th, 11 minutes past 11 a.m., we remember the dead from World War I and from other wars, and people lay a wreath. And uh, although it's in the church, you'll see if you walk around town, there's a wreath. There's one in White Hall at what's called the Cenotaph which is a kind of a tomb for all the fallen soldiers who are unknown. They actually went to Belgium and they dug up a body <coughs> of an unknown soldier and um, they decided this was going to be the soldier in the cemetery. The whole idea was nobody knew who it was going to be. Yeah. And of course, so many people died in the Great War. They always said the war to end all the wars. Yeah. Have you ever seen um, Captain Pirelli's Mando? The movie? Quite good, yeah. And um, has anyone read the book, Captain Freddy's Mother? Yeah, it's quite nice. Nice. It's a sort of a war film that's sad, but also beautiful.